Today I'm going to show you how to load step format books from older versions of QuickVerse into QuickVerse 10 for Mac. I've used the version, the QuickVerse uh, Windows version for several years and a few years ago I switched over to a Mac. I would purchased the QuickVerse uh, for Mac at that time but was dismayed to find out that the book format from the Windows version was incompatible with the book format from the Mac version and if I wanted to get those same books into the Mac version I was going to have to buy them again from uh, from QuickVerse and not only that would not only would I need to buy those again but there were quite a few of the books I had that they didn't even have available for the Macintosh uh, so what I did in the meantime until they decided to make a Mac version that was compatible with the older Windows uh, book format or some way I could get it in there I had to run Windows under VMware on my Mac and load QuickVerse under under Windows that way run it that way so it was kind of uh, kind of a convoluted and complicated way of getting into things but I was still able to use QuickVerse um, then 2011 QuickVerse was acquired by word search and then that combined company was uh, purchased by Lifeway Christian Resources. Well, earlier this year in 2012, they released QuickVerse 10 for Windows and Mac. And they, with that upgrade, they also changed the book format that they used. They sw switched from the step format to the cross format. And if you had had an older version of, of QuickVerse, you could download the cross-formatted versions of the books that you had purchased at no charge. So, I, of course, I wanted to run QuickVerse 10, or, or just run QuickVerse on my Mac without having to use VMware and, and all of that. And so I purchased the, and it said it could, it would do that, it would upgrade those step format books. And so I went ahead and I purchased the, the, when the QuickVerse 10 upgrade uh, for Mac which at the time, I, I believe the price is still the same, it was 1995. Now, once I downloaded and installed it, I found I could not, I, I tried to find the, the way to get those books loaded into QuickVerse 10, and I couldn't find it. I looked on the net and tried to find people who had done it before and were able to get it, and, but all I could find were the instructions on how to load the books into the Windows version but n absolutely nothing from the Mac version, for the Mac version. I couldn't, I went on the vendor's website, I went to, on the wordsearchbible.com and tried to find the instructions on how to load it into the Mac and couldn't find it because uh, all the instructions I found were for Windows. And so I dug around and I tried to find the different ways of doing it and could not find how to get those loaded. So I just continued using my old version of QuickVerse for Windows um, under VMware. But just the other day, I decided to go out and take another look on the web again to see if someone had found a way to do this. And I didn't find the exact instructions on how to do this, but I did get a hint on what I needed to do. And so with that hint in mind, I did a little more digging and was able to figure out how to do this. And so now I successfully have all of my books from my older version of QuickVerse in my, sorry, in my new version of QuickVerse. I bumped my microphone stand there. But uh, I now have the new version and I have my books loaded in the new version. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, before we go uh, any farther, there are two things that you need to make sure that you've done um, before we continue. First thing is you need to make sure that your step formatted books are copied somewhere in your home folder on your Mac. Uh, you can copy those. You should be able to copy those from um, your old QuickVerse CDs. They should be, those should be available. And the next thing you need to do is you need to create an account on wordsearchbible.com uh, for uh, so that you, way you can have an account you can download the new books from. And in your account, you need to make sure that you've set up a credit or a debit card uh, as a payment method. Now, I know some people may automatically think, well, I don't want to get charged anything. Well, you shouldn't be charged anything for this. I went through this whole mess and I didn't get charged uh, anything. Uh, but you need to make sure you do those two things. Make sure your step formatted books are copied into a home folder on your Mac, and then you need to make sure you create an account with a debit or credit card on wordsearchbible.com. Now, here's now we're going to go through the, this is the method you go through in order to get those books into your, you know, into QuickVerse for Mac. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that QuickVerse 10 is up and running, of course. And this, uh, 
it runs a little quick verse 10 runs a little slow on the mac and uh, there's some technical reasons for that um man i won't go into detail here but it, it just runs a little slower uh than you than you would think but you don't have to worry about getting vmware loaded up or anything like that and running windows that way which is also slow but anyway here you go you've got your quick verse 10 screen here now we're good there's it looks right here you've got your you've got the menu bar for quick verse but what we want to do is we want to go up to the mac toolbar at the top of the screen and you want to click on file then once you've clicked on file run, go down and click on run command now this window that comes up here the run command window um, that first setting that says use bottle that should be that should say quick first default now, I don't there aren't any other options uh, if you click on that there's not aren't any other options to choose from um, so you don't have to worry um, about that next you have your command uh, field and that should be empty go ahead and click on browse and this will bring up a window for you to choose the file that you want now what you should what you will most likely see when you when you first bring this up is you should see this you should have drive C up here in this in this field up here it should say drive underscore C and then you'll see two folders listed under that now if for some reason you don't have drive C listed there um, you'll need to go find it and but let me show you where you can find that it'll be under it'll be somewhere under your Mac um, is, so I've, like here it's under Macintosh HD under users then Keith R that's my account name on my Mac then under library application support quick verse 10 bottles quick verse then drive C and now I don't recall if this comes up automatically with drive C because I've already gone through this process before and I've dug down through and it remembers where you were but if you don't have drive C I just showed you where you could find it now at this point you'll see the three folders there that first folder that says program files that's the one you want to expand and then you'll see some more folders under that and there's one called common files and you want to expand that one under here you'll see a couple more folders and you want to open the word search folder and then in this list you'll see a list of executable files and programs now the one you want to run is the ws step import.exe which is down here so click on that and then go over and click open then you'll come back to your run command window and go ahead and click run this may take a little while to get going so uh, be patient as you can see that took a minute or two to run and uh, but the next one you should see you should see a little window pop up there that says WS step book importer now at this point it tells you it tells you it's the going to scan your computer for the step books and you do have an internet it does require an internet connection so make sure you're connected to the internet at this point because what it's going to do is it's going to contact wordsearchbible.com and set up a shopping cart for you with everything that you're going to get and of course the price will be zero on all of that um, but that'll go ahead and do that for you uh, at this point you want to click next now in this window this is when your search options you may be a little dismayed here by because you're seeing a basically a windows drive name here the c colon backslash that's a windows uh, that's a windows disk file um, windows disk name but don't worry about that what this does that just corresponds to your home folder here on the mac and so just leave that in place uh, as drive c the disk C and then make sure search the entire disk is selected and at this point you click next and it will search your home folder for all of your step formatted books now depending on the number of books you have and the, and the number of files and folders you have in your home folder this may take a minute or two so we'll go ahead and start this and um, let it run as you can see it's searching my folders looking for files and it hasn't found any step files yet but when it starts finding the step files you'll see the files examine number start going up see now it's found my step files and so we'll let this run 
and it's found so far it's found 163 step files that's actually how many files I've got so it did find them all and so we'll let this run to the end this should only take a few more seconds and once this is done it will bring up another window um, it'll with in here you have the next window and it has a list of all the books that it found all the step books it found and you as you can see I've got quite a list of books there and so what you want to do here is just click next now one thing you need do need to realize at this point um, like here I've got a lot of John MacArthur's New Testament commentaries these will be condensed down into one book in the cross format so if you if you want if you go if you compare the books you have before with the books you download you're going to see a shorter list with what you download, but um, but they've combined the files. So, like here, you've got MacArthur's New Testament commentary. The new, the these are the old step books, and you'll see quite a few different book listings there. But they will all be condensed into one book in cross format. So, don't be worried that you're getting shortchanged. At this point, click next, and you should see a window with the link. Um, it'll tell you to click it to to get your to get your new books, and of course you just click on that, and that will open up your browser, your default browser, which for most of you will be Safari, and it will take you to Word Search Bible to your shopping cart. Now here you have your preloaded shopping cart. And as you can see, it's uh, it'll give a list of the books it's going to download. Uh, it's, it tells you it's an ebook, tells you the quantity and what the price is. And it'll tell you what the original price is and then how much you're going to pay for it. And uh, so as you can see, I'm not having to pay anything for this upgrade. And if you go over here, you'll see my total is zero. So I'm not paying anything for all of for this 100 plus book list. And so now just click checkout. And then once you click on checkout, you'll get a confirm order window that pops up here. And of course, you can at this point... You'll, your total and your payment should both be zero. Everything should be zero except for your bottom line, which tells you how much money you saved because you're getting all of this for free. Uh, and as you can see, if I had gone and purchased each one of those books individually, I would have paid over $2,300 for, for these books. Um, but I don't have to pay anything. So at this point, you would click Place Order, and that would take you through the order process and confirmation and everything. Uh, that would finish that up. And what you, would happen at this point is it would display a screen to you that would have an account number and a password for you that you would use from the Quickverse application itself to connect and download those uh, new book files. Because actually it doesn't convert your old step files. It actually downloads the cross-formatted version. Um, and I believe all of the books that you had, if you've purchased them from Quickverse beforehand or it came with your Quickverse uh, installation, you should get all of those. Um, I I went through and I compared the list and I'm not missing anything, but you should get most, if not all, of your books. Uh, but at this point, you click place order. You would get a screen with your account number and your password. You'll also get an email um, at the email address you set up in your account. So that way, if something happens and you accidentally close the window, you can go to the email and get that information. Now, I'm not going to click place order here because I've already placed my order and I've already downloaded everything, so I don't have to go through this another time. So I'm going to click close here. And now what, what we want to do is switch back over to QuickVerse. And then you can close the book importer window. Now, it, now you want to download your books. And how, to do, and how to do that is you go to the Help menu on your Quickverse menu bar. So not the, not, the tool, not the Mac toolbar up here, but on the Quickverse menu bar. And click Help. And then you want to choose the option that says Download Purchase Books. Or Unlock Purchase Books, I'm sorry. Unlock Purchase Books. Click on that, and it will bring up the window where you enter your account number and your password. And that's what you got from that on your window when you completed your order. And it's also you also get this information in an email. And so at this point, you would enter your account number and your password. Click Next, and then follow the instructions after that. 
and it will download all of your books into Quick Verse 10. And since I've already gone through this, I can't do it. I, I'm not going to do it another time, but you'll know what to do once you get started. So if you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments. And, um, and I hope you enjoy it. And I hope, uh, I hope this goes well for you. Thank you.